Good morning and welcome to uh, the next edition of Safety Net Series 3. This week we are talking about Project Blueprint. And we have uh, Trista Statwalker and Lindsay Lum from our Community Impact Team joining us. Um, we'll get started in just a second, but first I want to thank all of our sponsors that make programs like this and our outreach and so many things that we do possible. All right. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. So jumping in, um, tell me what Project Blueprint is. Um, so Project Blueprint is a program at United Way of Southwest Alabama that focuses on board development for young professionals. Um, it's really a fabulous opportunity to just learn about the flow of leadership and how to conduct oneself um, in a board meeting and then also the importance of the volunteer component of serving on a board. And so we, we launched it. Um, it is a, it is a program that has been at United Way for, for decades. And we just brought it back a couple years ago, um, right after COVID because it's just a valuable resource to the community. Wonderful. Um, so you mentioned that it's been around forever, um, not forever, but but I feel like it was the 80s. Yeah. Um, how did how did it come to be? I, I know we know what the purpose is now, but um, how did that sort of come into into being? So the program was created to provide minorities or underserved communities the opportunity to have this training and to prepare them for board service. Um, and so it's really just a launching pad to, um, to give our professionals in Southwest Alabama the skills needed to be a, a valuable and beneficial board member. Wonderful. So, um, Lindsay, who qualifies? What, what type of people are we looking for? So any young professionals who are interested in serving on a board, um, people who want to get more involved on boards but don't really know where to start, um, and then people who are seeking to learn more about serving on the board of a nonprofit and kind of what that looks like and entails. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what, what about the curriculum? We got a broad overview. Do you have um, some specifics of uh, the classes that will be included? Um, our deans are working right now to develop that curriculum and put speakers into place. Um, so the topics kind of will vary depending on what speakers are a available and able to, to participate. But we like to um, talk about the responsibilities of serving on a nonprofit board, um, how nonprofits are kind of a unique business, and then different services that are available to help serve our community. Wonderful. I feel like I remember on our last session, they also did some like Robert's Rules of Order, um, reading a financial report, because those those kind of things are, are can be intimidating for, for folks who haven't had that much that experience. Yeah. So tell me what the program actually looks like. So once you've applied, you've had your interview, you've been accepted, um, how, how does how does it play out? Um, yeah. this so um, so the program this year, we're going to offer a hybrid op option because we and United Way of Southwest Alabama, we serve Choctaw, Clark, Mobile, and Washington counties. So we want to make sure that everyone has the opportunity to participate. The, um, the sessions are going to be uh, six hours, roughly. The morning will focus on a topic like volunteerism, um, Robert's Rules of Orders, reading the financial report. Um, and then there'll be lunch provided. And then the afternoon, you'll have the opportunity to learn about one of our 46 partner agencies and then also participate in a service project if, if that's a need at the agency. And so 
this program will be offered at a variety of our agencies. So you also get the feel of um, seeing services in action, which we're really excited about. That's amazing. So you've got a, an educational component and then you've got a hands-on component. Um, so I know applications are out, or the information for people to apply is out in the world. Um, when is that deadline and um, what are some other um, like fees or anything that else that people might need to know before when they're when they're submitting their application. Um, so the the fee to participate is hundred and fifty dollars. The deadline for um, applying for this program is the end of February, and then um, March will be dedicated to conducting interviews to really get to know our applicants and their needs and their interest. Um, another thing I'd like to mention is in order to participate in this program because of such the dedicated um, time requirements, you do need to have permission from your employer just so, so we know that attendance is going to be um, not an issue. And so that's, that's really all the main highlights at least. And you can always reach out to Lindsay or myself if you have any specific follow-up questions. Um, so people can self-nominate. I know there's some programs where the employer has to like put, put this, the person up, but in this program, am I correct in saying that people can self-nominate as long as they, they have can. their? Yes. Okay, terrific. Um, do, uh, so we're saying the program is actually going to run, is it May, May and June? Mm-hmm. Mid-May so May and then um, bleed into beginning of July, you know, just to accommodate the various holidays that we're going to encounter in June and July. Okay. Now, I know we're doing the, we do this program every other year. Mm -hmm. Why do we have that gap year? Um, really just for the um, preparation to launch the new program, but then also to give our participants time, you know, to be pa paired with um, boards. So that's also an option of this program is that we can assist you with identifying board opportunities in our community. Terrific. Um, is there anything that we haven't covered that that um, we probably need to share with with the community that might be interested in um, participating or uh, just all round knowledge of the program? Yeah, I, we need to definitely give thanks and praise to um, our dean this year, Ira Bates from the first, and then also Chandra Brown was um, co-dean last, last year or when we offered the program previously, but she's going to be filling in in a steering committee capacity. And so the two of them are doing a phenomenal job and they're really building a great program. So we're very excited to launch this in May. Well, terrific. So um, if there isn't anything else that you guys want to add, we will wrap it up for, for this week. Um, Anybody that's interested in volunteering, here's how you can get involved. Um, there's tons of opportunities, and it's a good way to kind of segue into Project Blueprint. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to close out. We're going to thank our sponsors one more time. They're all listed here. Um, and we wish all of you the great rest of your day. Thank you, Trista and Lindsay, for joining us. We've learned a lot about the program, and we can't get wait to see it launched again this spring. Thank you. Thanks, Leslie.